Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades. I got another repair for you here today. This Land Rover Discovery Sport has a P0234 turbo boost overpressure code on it. It's got the two liter EcoBoost, it's 2015. This may apply to a lot of cars because there's a lot of cars with a two liter EcoBoost from Ford. We're gonna give you a demonstration today. I'm gonna to show you what to check, how to troubleshoot it, and how to repair it. Stay tuned. All right, so you're just gonna pop the hood and the, the turbo solenoid, the actuating solenoid is right here in the back corner. It's actually really easy to see. Uh, let me get you a quick, quick little close up of that. All right, here's a better view here. So we have three vacuum hoses up front, small ones with little clamps on them. And then there is a connector, harness connector in the back. All right, let's get our light out of there real quick. So you're gonna pop the, just the top engine cover off here. Pops from each corner. And just slit that to the side. There are actually two eight millimeter bolts that hold it up against the, looks like uh, the head or the block of the engine. So you just unscrew those and get them off. You wanna take note, there's three hoses, there's three vacuum type hoses that hook to this. You wanna take note of how they're oriented so you don't disconnect them the wrong way. All right, so I got everything disconnected here. I did just wanna show you the, the connector that's at the back of the, the wastegate solenoid, uh, at least here on the Land Rover on this Ford engine. Uh, there's a little metal clip at the top that you can see. You push in on that to disengage and pull it out. It's real easy to pull out. All right, so let's go ahead and check out that wastegate solenoid on the shop table now and see if it works. All right, so we have it here on the bench. I uh, just wanna show this is the original Ford Motor Company. Looks like it's made by Pierberg. Uh, Germany and this is the connector and the three ports uh, this port here connects directly to uh, the airbox on this car and that's where it, it receives vacuum and then the vacuum travels through here uh, to this point right here and this port leads to the baffles or, or the turbo actuator uh, that pulls the rod and opens the wastegate so this leads to the turbo uh, this is atmospheric so that whenever this is not vacuumed this area loops in and that allows uh, That allows that turbo uh, That wastegate to be open and opened it if needed with the spring. So uh, What I'm going to test out here is I'm with the solenoid being in here. Uh, we want to connect uh, some power to these this connector here and it doesn't matter how you connect it but I'm using a battery charger that supplies 12 volts uh, you could also use a regular 9 volt battery uh, to test this out and what you want to do is you want to hear a, a click whenever they these are connected when voltage is applied to it so listen real carefully you hear that okay that means the insides are, are moving uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's working. It just means that a part of it is working, which means it's not completely locked up. We have no idea what's going on internally here, though. So I want to test that out to see if there's airflow uh, through this port and if it changes at all. So let's see here. I'm just going to use a bit of hose here and I'm going to connect it to the part where the vacuum would come in. It's going to be easier for me to blow into this than to suck on it to, to supply more power. So I'm just gonna blow through here and see if the air travels through with no voltage. Okay, no air travel at all. So it's not moving without voltage. There's no air moving through there. Uh, so if that was vacuumed, there would be no suction there. It would not be, uh, I believe, opening the wastegate at that point. No, uh, vacuum actually closes the wastegate, so no vacuum would leave it open. All right, so we're going to supply power to it. Let's 
Okay, I heard the little click. Okay, again, same thing, no, no change. So no change in that at all. Uh, I'm wondering if it's getting hung up. No change. All right, so that's well suspect in my mind. There's no uh, airflow there at all. So let's put this to the side and let's see how it varies with this replacement part that I got. Okay, so uh, the part number for this is 7.04663.00. It's, it's the same as this one. This is a Ford Motor Company part. This is a generic part. Uh, I got the link for this uh, down below in the comment section. Uh, I think this was $30. This one was, I think, 90 90 to 100 all right so let's see how this one works again i'm going to apply air pressure no voltage okay there's airflow there without any voltage all right let's apply voltage heard the click no, no airflow at all. Just a very little bit actually, but not a lot. All right, so that's telling me that this is operating different than this one. This one I think is setting off my, my overboost code. This one is allowing vacuum to travel. So that vacuum is, is closing the gate and when voltage is not applied it's allowing the gate to open so it's it's operating differently changing the state of the power either on or off is changing the state of the internals whereas the part i pulled off the car is not so that's that right there is telling me something's not operating correctly uh, i'll go ahead and show you underneath the car uh, what it looks like by applying vacuum to the vacuum to the actuator for the turbo and see how that operates and then maybe we can even get this thing put back together and I can start it up and, and give it a test. All right, we're under the car. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna point out a few spots here uh, for you to recognize, but this is the turbo here, the silver part. The, uh, the wastegate solenoid is kind of up to the right and I have the hose that would connect to the middle of the solenoid port uh, that goes to the little bellows part, the, the wastegate the wastegate actuator. I've got that hose coming down and I've I've got that hooked to a vacuum, a hand vacuum pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that when we pump this up, that actuation rod, I've got it pointed out here, we want to make sure that goes in, okay, that opens the wastegate inside the turbo so that it's operating the wastegate properly. So I'm going to go ahead and pump it up now. Okay, pumped all the way up. Looks like it's holding to me. Okay, I'm gonna depress it. Let's do it again. Okay, it's holding. Okay, let it go. Okay, it seems to be traveling nice. It's nice and fluid. That's what we're looking for is, is that, that movement and we're looking for it to hold. Okay, so I don't think that's a problem at all. Uh, of course, if this is a problem, uh, it does look like some bolts are there. You might be able to take it and replace just this part. Uh, it would be hassle to get off, but it would be better than replacing the entire turbo. So let's go ahead and, and finish up here. I've got some final thoughts. All right, well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, we got lucky because it was two issues. One is a lot worse than the other. I did not want to mess with the turbo at all. Uh, that solenoid was easy to reach. It was easy to troubleshoot. I want to warn you to not assume that it works just because it makes noise. So as you apply voltage to the solenoid just because it makes noise doesn't mean everything on the inside is working as we saw here. So please troubleshoot it correctly. Again, you could just throw parts at it. Uh, it was a cheap part. So uh, it's up to you if you know how to troubleshoot or not. Anyway, uh, we got some things coming up with this car before I return it. We're going to do a, a Nox, uh, we're going to do a, a transmission flush on it. I'm going to show you how to properly do that. And we also have a knock sensor we're going to replace. 
So, and a cam position sensor, sorry, not a knock sensor, a cam position sensor. So that's gonna come up now. If you wanna subscribe, you'll get notifications whenever those come out, they'll be in the next few weeks. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to you and helps you with your projects. Stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe. Take care and goodbye.